The Channel Islands are a remote set of island chains located just off the coast of Southern California. Visiting these islands is like going back in time, and each is rich in history. The islands are inhabited by peculiar looking vegetation, with some species native only to the area. Having visited and explored almost all of the Channel Islands, I found that every one has its own unique story to tell. And the best way to do it is through photographs. The largest of the islands, Santa Cruz, most resembles what California used to look like. The second largest island, Santa Rosa, is similar to Santa Cruz, but it inhabits the Torrey Pine and is the rarest forest in the world. I want to see more, so I'm heading further out, this time to San Miguel Island. It all starts with Island Packers. You are almost guaranteed to see exciting marine mammals such as dolphins, whales, and sea lions. With giant waves and a windy skiff ride into shore, a boat ride can be an adventure all its own. Once ashore, it's time to gather your belongings and head about a mile up to the campground. Even in the summer months, the wind and marine layer can cause temperatures to drop drastically. With night approaching and a seven mile hike scheduled for the morning, it's time to grab a little food and rest up. The ranger guided hike to Point Bennett starts from the campground. We make a few stops along the way, one being a unique caliche forest. Continuing on to Point Bennett, Point Bennett has one of the most spectacular displays of wildlife in the world, accommodating thousands of pinnipeds. This is why I came to San Miguel Island, to witness something few have experienced. After eating a bit of lunch, we head down to get an even closer look. From the safety of the plant-covered sand dunes, we watch.
last day i spent down at the beach exploring the sea caves and tide pools Toward the evening, I wanted to get a really nice shot of the Cabrillo Monument, so I waited just before the sun went down. Got it. 